a pint-sized dog has come in with a big problem. My name's Darcy and this is my dog Pee Wee. And we're here because Pee Wee has congestive heart failure. We're hoping to bring Pee Wee to our um, destination wedding in the Bahamas. Hopefully he'll get the go ahead to, uh, to go on a short flight. I got Pee Wee when, um, when my mom was sick and she subsequently has passed away. So Pee Wee's my little ball of happiness. Hi, Hi Pee Wee. Hi. Today I have Pee Wee coming in. He's been a patient of mine for a few months and he has unfortunately pretty severe heart disease. He's been in and out of the emergency service several times for the last couple months. Roseanne and Kristen are gonna go start the appointment. They're gonna just check in and make sure everything's okay. So he's been good, his energy level's back up? Yeah, he's really good. Excellent. Good, good. Okay. And he's eating well? Yes. Okay. Pee Wee is slightly claustrophobic. He has like panic and anxiety um, issues when he's on the plane. So we're taking a road trip from here to Florida and then taking a small, short plane ride from um, Florida to Nassau. So we're hoping that this plane works because it's a freight plane so he can sit on my lap mm -hmm. and not in the bag. Alrighty, Pee Wee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring all this out to Dr. Williams. Okay. And she'll be in very shortly. Okay. I'm really hoping that Dr. Williams can give me some good news today about Pee Wee and coming to the wedding because it would mean the world to me. Pee Wee is about to find out if he's cleared for takeoff. Doing a good job. He does have severe heart disease, that's not gonna go away. But as of right now, he's really stable, which is great. So let's talk logistics. Once he's on the plane, once you take off or something, is he allowed to sit on your lap or how? Yeah, he is. Obviously, if he's on your lap, it's probably gonna make a big difference. Darcy's done a really good job at kind of organizing everything so it's as minimally stressful for Pee Wee as possible. What I'd like you to do is check into, yeah, what's available as far as emergency care or vet care, yes. where you're gonna be. I just don't want you to get down there and have a problem with him and then it, you know, it ruins your wedding too, mm -hmm. right? Because that's yeah. not a fun thing either. Whenever anybody travels with their, their pet, it's really a good idea to know where the emergency clinics in the area are gonna be. So He's maybe- He's begging you. He's saying, please, let I me go. I to go to the Bahamas, please. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what we'll do is we'll tweak some of the medications, see if we can keep them stable. And uh, if everything's looking good, hopefully we can get him down there. Not to put a sad note on it, but I mean, we know he doesn't have a real long time left. And so if we can get him somewhere where he can really enjoy, yeah. you know, some time. And that's why it means so much for us for Pee Wee to come uh, to the wedding and to be there with us and have good days. Thank you right, so we'll much. See you guys again. You okay, you. you're welcome. I appreciate you're it. Welcome. Okay, bye. I hope Petey knows how much I love him because I'm gonna fly on a cargo plane to my wedding and there may be chickens on the flight too. And I don't like chickens, but he's worth it.